Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shura. And this is Shrine Morning. We had something we wanted to say. Oh, this again. All right, well, whatever. Well. <laughs> In the evening, we are all summoned from our dorms by figures wearing hoods and masks who lead us outside. We sit on the ground in groups by hall, horses with horses, wolves with wolves, and so on. You don't want your uh, species mixing now, do you? No, definitely not. Then the seniors from each hall stand and form a line leading up to the remains of the bonfire, where Professor Potsdam is waiting. One at a time, they take a long wooden stick and stir through the remains of the ashes. The old year has died, the past is gone and will not come again. Let us leave behind our sorrows in the ashes of the past. As these ashes become soil, so may our hearts become the ground of the future. After all the seniors have had their turn and taken their seats again, many in the other class presidents bring new wood to place on top of the old. Let the new year be born! The pile of wood glows with tiny sparks, four, eight, twelve, until at last curls of orange flame begin to blossom and the fires rekindled. Horse can't count any higher than that. I'm confused about what we're counting. Are we counting the seconds until it- The tiny sparks? Oh. Uh, we need an omen for the new year. If anyone here has been experiencing a recurring dream and would like to share it with us- I wonder if it's different each time. Let's see. At first, there is silence, except for the muffled squeak from where the snake girls are sitting. It looks like Barbara was not keen on having Suki share her dreams. Eventually, mm. Angela stands up and t tells us a dream about a pink birthday cake sitting in a field of cows. She takes the cake and runs away from the cows, but when she cuts into the cake, it's made of sand and it collapses. Serves her right. Meditate on this dream and what meaning it might have for your lives in the new year. I wouldn't put much thought into it. It means quite I shouldn't eat cake with Angela. And may the seeds of the past bear fruit in you all. After she finishes speaking, everyone stands up and dances in the light of the new fire until it's time to go to our rooms and sleep. Okay. So, you can tell us about what you wanted to tell us now. Alright, what I wanted to tell us was that, um, t or tell you, was that we checked in our inventory, and apparently we already bought the star wand in this version of the game, too. We just forgot to put it We just never equipped it, on. it. But now it is. But I remembered where we got this extra money it's from. It's from the, the uh, dowry, right? That's what we call it? Yeah. The wedding dowry. And you guys probably already knew that because you're not as stupid as we are. And, it's been um, a long time since we played it. And okay. it's actually been a month since we played it. Yeah. I notice Kyo standing by the wall, staring off into space. He looks upset. When is he not, though? Really? But when I start to walk over to talk to him, he turns on his heel and stomps out of the gym. Kyo wins the emo prize of this game. Definitely. Ooh, oh, we got I... a new spell, which we already got in Damage the other integrity. version. Yes. But for some reason, my white in this one is way higher than the other one. You just pick randomly each time, so I guess that's why. I guess. Ooh, three red. Ooh. I like it when we get threes. That's a nice number. It is nice, except when they both lead to 39. You know, I don't like how you get three stress just because you got three points. Yeah. I feel like that should be random, too. It should. Like, maybe it depends on the class you take. I feel like grabbing our classes should always be more stressed than the uh, pot Definitely, ones. yes. Especially if you're married to him. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Um, so since we have all this extra money, do you think we should go blow it, or just- Should we blow it? Yeah, let's go to the mall. Let's spend some cash. Okay. Go to the magic shop? I think shop? there's some extra things we can get. Magic store, I'm sorry. It's oh, a store, not goodness. a shop. Okay, so I have glasses and a star wand, but that's it. <sighs> what do we want? I think the protective gear is good. Really? Well, unless you want to go for like one of these furry suits. I can suits. afford a sextant. So I have a dollar to spare. No, I'm not getting a furry set. Good for combat magic. Special fabric keeps your hands safe from fire or acid, while elbow pads can double as sports gear. Sweet. I. It sounds like I'm going to be so ugly. It's actually not that bad. You will have to wear it. Okay, yes, I know. You also get a tiara if you want. Oh my god, yes. Horse can be a little princess. Yeah, I get it. It's so unhorse like but I get cute plus 10, and I have money, so I don't care. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Yes, let's go return home. Alright, let's put them on now, so that I don't forget next time. It's gonna be so ugly, ready? Ew! Nice. I didn't realize her arm was so long, goodness. Whoa, that is weird. I never noticed that either. She's like an ape. Yeah, her arm is way too long. Holy crap. Oh my god, the tiara is so terribly placed. Yeah, but I cannot unnotice that arm now. <laughs> well, I'm just looking at my own arm and like, no, that's not that ridiculous. Whoa. It's like down past her knee. Anyway, let's uh, finish off here because I can hear the ice cream man coming again. For the third time today. 
It can't be the <sighs> end of the last episode. It was just 10 minutes ago. <laughs> All right, so, everyone. This episode was short, but you know we're going to keep them one week each just for the ease of the different paths. Yeah, we have to keep them separated, so that's what we're going to do. All right, everyone. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>